Hey guys, it's such a joy for me to be with all of you today. Hope you're all doing well. It's such an amazing time to be with you on this new series that I'm just starting out on the YouTube channel to find and know God's will for our life. One of the questions that so many people ask almost all the time is, how, John, how do I discern God's will? How do I know what is God's will for my life? How do I walk in God's will? Well, if that describes you, I want you to stay tuned because this series will definitely be a blessing to you guys. I think almost a year and a half ago, I did this similar series uh, on my daily podcast. I encourage you to check out my daily podcast, uh, uh, top ranking podcast, trending across the globe, which will definitely be a blessing to you guys. Uh, feel for the soul to John Gifta, uh, available on all the podcast platforms. Check them out. I'm sure it will be a blessing uh, and share them around as well. And all other details like my books and uh, my social media handles are all in the description. Love to connect with you guys and to hear from you as well. So uh, in this segment, I want to start off by talking about the first and foremost important thing to know. If you are saying, John, I want to know God's will. How I desire to walk in the will of God for my life. Well, that's a very good place to start because the first and foremost thing I want to set the tone for our series is this important aspect with regard to God's will that, you know what it is? Do you want to know what it is? Well, if you want to know what it is, I want to start off by letting you guys know, like this video, engage, comment on it, subscribe to the channel if you're not done. So I know all the YouTubers do this, but the reason I wanted you guys to do this is because I want you guys to understand that when you engage with the video, when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, it helps us to reach more people. So that's the um, help that I would really ask you to do. So, so without further ado, the first and foremost thing that you need to have or you need to know with regard to knowing God's will is the desire. I want to start off by sharing Psalm 40 verse 8. If you look at this, the way I want to take it is when you look at different translations, it says, uh, one says, I delight to do your will, O God. One translation says, I love to know your will, O God. I enjoy doing your will, O God. I have joy in your will, O God. I have pleasure in your will. I delight, I desire, I love. These are the different words the this, this same verse is having in different translations. And today, my question to you today is, important thing you need to ask yourself do you have the desire from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of your soul from the bottom of your mind where you desire to know God's will when you desire to do the will of God because if you are doing this just because you want to say you know what I don't want to go to hell hell so I want to go to heaven so I want to do God's will I want to look like a goody goody person in front of people that's the reason I want to know God's will no 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 that will not help you give a lasting result if you want to see a lasting result you need to have that desire you need to have that passion you need to have that delight in doing and knowing the will of God See, for example, when I say delight, right? Now, if you give me the normal flavor of ice cream, I would be happy. But if you gave me my favorite flavor of ice cream, the chocolate flavor, now you know which flavor to give me on my birthday, okay? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, when you give me chocolate flavor, I would just delight in it. I would love to run and grab as much as I can and eat. Why? Because that's my favorite flavor. I delight in it. Nobody has to push me to do it. If you gave me a chance and say, you know what, John, you can choose 100 different flavors, but I would still choose chocolate. Why? Because I delight in it. When you delight to do the will of God, even if there are 100 different distractions coming your way, you would still delight in choosing the will of God. That's why the first and foremost thing is that is your delight in the will of God? Is, is it something that you enjoy from your innermost being? Is it something that nobody has to force you to do, but you just would do it? You know, when I delight in something, when I love something, you guys know one of my favorite aspects of my life is the fact that I, I'm a 
full fledged scooby doo fan right i got even world records for it last year and i love scooby doo so much i i have to bring scooby doo into the picture right now you know any opportunity i get in a sermon in a in in an, any uh, photo or any opportunity i get i would love to add to my collection i would love to increase my memorabilia i would love to talk about scooby doo i would love to use it as a sermon illustration why because i delight nobody has to force me to talk about it nobody has to force me to do it i just delight because i love it when it's from your within you when it is your uh, innermost being that wants to do it nobody has to force you to do it nobody has to put a gun on your head to say do it why because it's from within you and today i want you guys to understand that when you have that innermost delight innermost desire innermost uh, uh, from within you when you have that passion and that zeal uh, you know saying i want to do the will of god nobody can stop you no distraction can come and take you from that that's why today the first and foremost thing i want to set the tone right for you guys if you are saying i want to do the will of god i want to know the will of god is it just because of an external force or is it because from within you you want to do it You know, one of the things you guys know that I have the daily podcast, which I shared about a little earlier. I have this the YouTube channel. I have a full time work. I work in a full time job. I'm an aerospace engineer, so I work. I have a hectic schedule. Apart from work, I do the daily podcast, uh, almost daily social media, and almost daily YouTube channel and different things that I do. Even in the ministry, I minister in different places. You know, can I tell you something, guys? So especially the daily podcast every single day it's not easy sometimes i would be so tired and exhausted i would be in the middle of the night recording oh my goodness i need to set the episode ready i need to do this i would be uh, for the most part i sleep by 2:30 or 3 in the night because of the hectic schedule that i have so much to do but can i tell you something dear saints of god what causes me to do it nobody is going to force me to do it nobody forces me Nobody is going to come and put a gun on my head if I don't release an episode for the day. But when I delight in it, when it is from within me, when 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 that is what I desire and I enjoy and I long and I love to do, nobody has to force me. And even when I don't feel like it, I would still do it because of how much of value it holds for me. Are you able to understand what I'm saying? That's what I want you to understand. The first and foremost place to deal with with regard to knowing god's will for your life is to have that desire to delight to enjoy to have that passion from within you to know his will today i pray in the name of jesus for those who are watching lord i pray that you'll fill them with that desire fill them with that peace fill them with that longing fill them with that passion fill them with that delight fill them with that uh sense of enjoyment a sense of joy a sense of pleasure in knowing and doing your will of god where they it is from within them they want to do it in such a way that nothing will be okay other than god's will that they would settle for god's will even if they have a hundred different options they will still choose your will when they have not feeling like it they would still choose to do it because they delight in your will god i pray that this message would stir people up and bring their hearts into the right place that they will have that desire delight and enjoyment in your will i give you praise and i give you the glory in jesus name i pray amen hey guys thank you so much for dropping by i hope, hope this was the first step to, where you were reminded with regard to knowing and walking in god's will i encourage you to like comment share subscribe and uh if you're not subscribed subscribe share this around with those who need to hear this and check out my daily podcast check out my uh content on social media my website all other details are in the description like the radio program and all of that stuff would love to connect with you and hear from you guys thank you so much for dropping by and stay tuned because every week i'm going to be uploading part of this series on knowing and finding god's will i'm sure it will be a great blessing to you guys and i will catch up with you very soon god bless you If your heart stops beating now, do you know where you're going? If you came face to face with death now, do you know where you're going? And this is not a message of condemnation. This is a message of hope. 
But there is a God who loves you so much. He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to come down and pay a heavy price by shedding every drop of his blood on the cross. Thank you for dying for my sins. When you believe in him, you have free gift of salvation for you. That assures us that we will go to heaven when we die instead of suffering in hell forever. I just encourage you today to make the simple step of faith and say, Jesus, I thank you for what you did on the cross. Thank you for giving me this gift of eternal life.